Because I voted for Biden. Sorry. Did you vote for Biden? <laughs> <laughs> I voted for Biden like everyone else voted I for Biden. I didn't vote, dude. Yeah. You didn't? No. Damn, you're so worked up and you don't even vote? No, dude, I didn't even vote. My mom was so mad at me. She's like, you didn't vote! You didn't vote! It's your fucking civic duty. It's your civic duty, you dumb f you have No right to complain. You're a lazy asshole. <laughs> you're a lazy asshole. Oh, and guess what? Now it was stolen. <laughs> Joe <laughs> Biden stole the election because of f**ks like you. Yeah, my mom was a big stop the steal. Because of little cuck limbs like you. <laughs> we're all set? Yeah, we're good to go, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, mostly gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Rough Week Podcast, Texas edition. Texas style. Texas style, baby. Texas did it. I want to do that thing that uh, that Mexican OT does. What's you ever he hear do? him rap? He goes uh, brr, brr, when he raps. He, he, goes, he rolls his R's. He goes, brr. Not even like as a noise. Like he'll say like, "I'm a brr, my baby." Brr, brr, brr. Like, <laughs> like he, he does it while he's rapping. I, that, I want to learn nice. how to do it. It looks yeah. pretty hard. That's pretty cool. It seems pretty difficult. That's High pretty level cool. stuff. High level stuff. Shout out to the weeklings. Shout out to the weeklings. What's up, boys? Thanks, Good to fellows. See you again, Thanks dude. for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for doing your thing. Thanks for loving us, dude. Showing us, showing yeah. us love, man. Thanks Support. for showing us love, guys. Thanks for holding them up down, <laughs> man. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Do hard times, trials, yeah. tribulation. We appreciate the DMs. Yeah, we love you, boys. Story likes, even a story like. Yeah, dude. Love the story. I love a good story. I like to reopen my story and see little hearts of flutter. Yeah. That's what <laughs> I like. Everybody uh, was. Give, give him some story likes on the rough week. So I, I posted a Seth a Rogen. Seth Rogen fucking oh, hate own. hate piece on this, Seth Rogen. Said own. Yeah, Seth it was Rogen. a picture of Seth Rogen. It just said Jew. Yeah. <laughs> fucking Jew. <laughs> <It's a> Occupier. <laughs> <laughs> Colonizer. Colonizing Jew bitch. Yeah, that's what it said. Yeah, it was a good gag. Yeah, it was a funny like little turn a phrase on twitter demonic settler that's what it's yeah 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 i'd give him devil horns and like a giant <laughs> nose and like and he was rubbing his hands greedily and he had a pitchfork in his hand like the devil we gotta lay off the juice <laughs> we're gonna get killed we are gonna get sniped dude yeah i like this we're seth gonna rogan's, get struck by lightning seth actually. rogan's been getting the hands on twitter yeah i mean he's just like porn ball mode i know dude i think what's happening is we've reached a sort of zenith of millennial hate yes it was like kind of like gen z was kind of like poking fun and then now it's interesting though. Gen Z will get get their turn. I mean, we're cuspers. Yeah. We're neither here nor there. And I've also it's even more than millennial hate. It's like very, I think I talked about this last week, but it's very specifically like a Trump first term. Yeah. Trump's first term. Yeah. Next term is gonna be a whole lot different. First Trump term. Uh, it's a uh, <laughs> fucking. It's a about whole like lot it's, different. it's specific criticism of like 2017, 2018, like. Annoying that era of Twitter wokeism. Yeah. I'm with her. SNL. Yeah, BLM, I think it's kind of similar to like COVID stuff. The way like starting maybe 22, 23, where a lot of people were like, we went crazy. Yeah, it's very collective. It's, yeah, and, and it's self aware of like we were. Insane. We were nuts. Yeah, a lot of people like we were nuts, and like some people haven't left that. And if you haven't left it, everyone's like you're ridiculous. I think when Donnie wins again, that mm -hmm. it's not going to be the same way. I, it's definitely I was, not going to be the same, but I was worried that there was going to be like, like I don't think any, I don't think most rational people now think that like a Donald Trump presidency is like the end of the world, the way they yeah. did the first time he got elected. Exactly, as if Biden, because I voted for Biden. Sorry, did you vote for Biden? <laughs> <laughs> I voted for Biden, like everyone else voted I for didn't Biden. Even vote, dude. Yeah, you didn't. No. Damn, you're so worked up and you don't even vote? No, dude, I didn't even vote. My mom was so mad at me. She's like, you didn't vote! You didn't vote! It's your fucking civic duty. It's your civic duty, you dumb fuck. You have no right to complain. You're a lazy asshole. <laughs> now you're a lazy asshole, and guess what? Now it was stolen. <laughs> Joe Biden stole the election because of fucks like you. Yeah, my mom was a big stop the steal Because of little cuck limbs like you. <laughs> little queers with your they-thems and your this and that. Now look. Dude, she is. She does hate woke stuff. She hates cancel culture. Dude, all that's a lot of boomers. Yeah, dude loves Bill Maher. I'm so glad my dad's not online. I feel like he would like say something like that, and I'd be like, brother. Yeah, my mom's brother. Dude, she's not even online. I swear, she just watches Bill Maher. Ugh. And she hates cancel culture. Did I don't you even see think she knows what that means. Burr on Bill Maher. Oh, I great. just saw the clip of it. it was oh, it's so amazing. funny. 
Yeah, dude, you're like a fantasy football guy who yeah. thinks you could be a fucking GM. <laughs> yeah, dude, literally. You're like a guy who won the fantasy league. You're like, yeah, let me run the Rams. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, dude, he's like, it's so funny. Just Mars, like, I could do Israel. Yeah. I could figure it out. <laughs> he's so... I could do peace in the Middle East. I could know. And you're he's like, so what hateful. the hell? Yeah, he, he started off saying a rock at his head that supporting Palestine is basically supporting Hamas. Yeah, and then Bill was like. How the it, fuck do you know? Yeah, he's he's like, wait, wait, wait no, it's not, <laughs> dude, dude, dude. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, good for Bill. Shouts yeah. out to Burr. I Bill, you gotta love him. Bill Maher really just yapping. Yeah, dude, day, he's really just, bro speaks yapping. And he's smoking his gay little cloves in a fucking basement. Yeah, Bill Maher can suck my ass. I hate that guy. He's extremely hateable. He's just so cloying, not cloying. What's the word? Uh, just annoying. Just fucking grating every human being. Yeah. It'd be like, I'm right, you're wrong. Yeah. Then he's talking, I don't know, I've just seen him talk about like how he's never had like a wife or girlfriend or anything like that. And yeah, he's it's like, like it's, who could fucking yeah, suffer through like, no more sh- than two no days shit, of being dude. around you? And he's like, claims that it's like some weird, like, it's almost like polyamory. He's like, you want to own someone, I don't want to do that. I'm like, you're so gay, dude. So fucking gay, dude. I mean, I just let your narcissism just ride for that long. I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> like you, you did. It's wild. <laughs> like you've grown zero as a person. I don't know. It's just a stunted little weirdo. I don't know. I don't like that kind of guy. Let's be more positive, dude. Nah, dude. Sorry. That's, <laughs> dude, we're an optimist. I was dancing podcast. with Mexicans on, on Wednesday. Yeah? Just dancing with Mexicans. Where were you? At work. <laughs> nice. nice. <laughs> <laughs> dude, we were playing, uh, we were being like silly little guys and we had to do all this like kind of like organizational work where we're just like sorting boxes and Billy's playing music, he's playing uh, Girls Just Want to Have Fun and dude, the fucking, <laughs> this Mexican guy comes in and he's like, girl, they want to have fun. <laughs> oh, girl. <laughs> dude, he was so, we're all like, <laughs> and then, and then we were actually working, he comes in and he's like, where did he come don't want to have fun. He's like looking at us like, where'd it go? He's frustrated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're just going to wait like, so, silence. So girls don't want to have fun anymore? Fun. Okay. So I guess girls don't want to have fun anymore. Girls can't have fun, I guess. I guess the niñas <laughs> don't want to have however you say fun in Spanish. The mujeres? The mujeres. That's way too long of a word to be fun. I'm sorry. That's something I noticed with Spanish and French and a few in the Romance languages. Too many syllables. You think so? Yeah, dude. Where should not be two syllables? Donde? Why are we doing? It should be one. <laughs> Here, uh, two yoke. syllables, aquí. Yeah. Two. I think they have, on average, more syllables. Yeah, okay, I got you. You think it's too hard to Too learn? many syllables. <laughs> you can only handle one syllable at a I'm time. A, I just think English is more direct. <laughs> English is, like, so hard to learn if yeah. you're not English, apparently. I fucking got it down pat, dude. <laughs> I got it done in the bag. I don't know we what... All these everyone's words. bitch. I've learned that shit when I was, like, one years old. Why is it so fucking hard? Yeah, like, who really... Who Whose idea was it, like, PH is... Sounds like an F and a silent K. It's like a. It's an N. it's because of willingness to absorb other linguistic things. Okay. It's like why we say like rendezvous. It's like that's a French ass word. We just fucking throw it in there. Yeah. You know, we just, like we did just, we just that. absorb languages. Yeah. Whereas like I know French for sure is like very unwilling to do that. They don't want it. They don't want anything to do with us. No. They got their. their Even soap. like potato. They didn't do a new word for potato. They said earth apple. <laughs> That's what the literal translation of potato is in French. They because <laughs> it's new world, so potatoes are new to them. They're like, "That's odd. we got to call it something else." Yeah. Like we kind of call it a thing that already exists. It's an earth apple. It's earth apple. It's good enough. White flesh in the ground. Earth. Boom. <laughs> done. Yeah, they do but it's like six syllables. It's three syllables. Palm de terre. Palm. De- That's a little too much. Yeah. Palm de terre. Apple. Apple. Two. Mm-hmm. These guys are making everything complicated. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's fucking. Yeah. Comedy, Palm frite. Dude. Palm frite. Yeah. Apple fries. Is that what that means? Literally. Palm but it's just apple? shortened. Palm, yeah, is apple. They're not apple fries. But, yeah, but it's palm de terre. They just shorten it. Palm frit. Oh. Yeah, fried apples. Ground apple. Ground apple. Fried apple. Apple fries. <laughs> Everything's just an apple. This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I hate yeah, this. Yeah, the French traditionally, I believe, have a history of not really having a... They have an inflexible language. Whereas English is much more flexible, which is why you get rules that don't make sense, like context that's weird, like, you know. Yeah. Like wood, wood, wood. There's like three different ways to say wood. And a lot of homonyms. Homonyms. Synonyms. Antonyms. Man, synonyms. My man's in nims. <laughs> <laughs> My partner in nims. <laughs> My boys in nims. <laughs> Every kind of nims you could, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know. 
I got the like, synonym, the antonym. Yeah, synonym, cinnamon. My man's in them. Anemone. My bitch in them. <laughs> <laughs> All the different types of yeah. M's. Yeah, holding on M's, stacking M's. <laughs> you know, you feel me? <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah, I've dude. been doing a like a, like a L.A. Uh, gangbanger black guy voice around mm-hmm. the house. How's that go? I, I'm just always like, man, I got to, I'll just start, I'll be like, I got to take out the garbage. Motherfucker, I got to take out the garbage. <laughs> the start, garbage. I'm just like, I'm going to take out the garbage, man. I'm about to take out man, this garbage. Taking that, man, taking the trash out, man. Dude, man, have you just, seen the guys? Man, this shit's trash. And Autumn cat. has got to the point where I do it too much, and sh- I don't know why I do it. Like, I, I just am bored, I guess. Yeah. And it's kind of just ADHD shit. And she just doesn't respond. Mm-hmm. So I look. I mean, it's if like you're an outsider, psychotic. it would look insane. Yeah, or it's like she's a very sad woman living next to a very silly man. She's literally like, can you take out the garbage? I'm like, take out the motherfucking no, garbage. garbage. Man, this garbage <laughs> is getting motherfucking taken out. <laughs> and then she's like, thank you. <laughs> That's the end of the interaction. That's funny, dude. <laughs> Did I tell you, I was like, I was heckling this Asian kid, and this sounds horrible already. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't like tell this story. Recital? No, in high school, we had to do these, like, obstacle courses in high school. And I was kind of messing with this Asian kid. I feel bad now. I feel like I was doing something racist. I can tell you a racist thing. I did Asian. Okay. Well, throw him down a well. Just <laughs> fucking, yeah, beat him to death. And threw rocks at him and I'm like, get the fuck out of here, you fucking piece of shit. I had them test out some railroads. <laughs> um, <laughs> no. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. No, it's all good, dude. Uh, you want me to tell my story? Yeah, go ahead. So this is my story. I'll show you, you know, you show sure mine or whatever it goes. But I was in, it's not that bad. I was in PE. I was yelling at an Asian kid in an Asian accent. While he was doing the obstacle course, I was like, oh, climb the rope. Oh, man, got to climb the rope. <laughs> like, that's like watching him do that in, like, high school. And I was doing it to no one. It was literally, like, I didn't have my friends with me. Yeah. I was just in a silly mood watching an Asian kid do, like, a rope swing. I was like, oh, rope swing. You know? Yeah. And then I was doing it for, like, fucking two minutes while he's doing this whole thing. And this girl who was, like, a hot, popular girl was like, Christoph, shut the fuck up. Holy shit. <laughs> she just got annoyed. She with hated it so much. <laughs> In the middle of, like, a rant. I get like, so oh! And she's like, shut the fuck up. I'll kill you. <laughs> I get so picture this, dude. I was like, oh, oh, God. I was so embarrassed. Dude, when you and Captain... If I'm around you and Captain at the same time, it's mm. so much ADHD. I'm like, <laughs> I haven't heard either of my friends' actual voices in seven or eight minutes. It's just I mean, me and Captain. We or it's like it's not good. It's it's good, but it's like it's like you know, it's like you ever see like a ball get closer and closer to a wall, and it just goes. Yeah, yeah. It's neither like that. of you are dumb, but I watch you rot each other's brains. Yeah, we're doing like, brain rot. In, yeah, brain rot. <laughs> we're bit, brain rotting. Like, it's yeah, like, dude. It's just. Peanut butter and jelly level, like yeah, ADHD yeah. synchronicity. <laughs> like, literally, literally would talk to each other in fart sounds. It's absolute gibberish. Yeah, I'm like, I haven't heard you guys speak normally. No, in 10 no, we, we yeah. I've spoken to one of my two friends yeah. who I'm hanging out did with. We, did we do this bit for you about the Chinese guys and the. Yeah, yeah, yeah I oh, love okay. it. Yeah, yeah. Did I already do it on the podcast? Uh, Maybe. I don't, I don't know. know. All right. I, I hate like repeating myself. I'm like anxious about it. I guess it doesn't really matter that much. <laughs> you could, dude. But <laughs> now people who haven't seen it want me to do it. okay whatever. But the point is there was just the old west. Yeah, back in cowboys, the west. Chinese people, and Mexicans were all friends in the old west. <laughs> that's, yeah. the, that's the bit we did. Yeah. We, it was a car ride from I forget where I'll in tell Orlando. You Chang, you're not so bad after Yeah, all. yeah. Oh, you're my favorite guy. Uh, you know, uh, hey, Juan, man. we love you. <laughs> I, I love you, fuckers. Man. Yeah, bro. Like yo, mm. you fuckers are like crazy. Man, we, we look like the fucking United Nations or something. Yeah. Man. Then, dude, the one captain kept doing is uh. Uh, you guys would love the Great Wall. That's oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's like, I gotta ask you, man, are dragons real? Yeah. yeah. Oh, they're real. Yeah. <laughs> man, what kind of sombrero is but that, yeah. man? That's like a huge. That's like a ten gallon sombrero. <laughs> that's like a big ass sombrero, fool. Man, fool so we did that. We talked crazy. like that for like forty five minutes. Like that's our way of speaking to each other. It's very odd. Yeah. It's very, very odd. It's called a 10 gallon hat. It's Jorge. called a 10 gallon hat, Jorge. You gotta get you one. <laughs> I don't know if I can afford it. And then at the end, it ends with them not liking black people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At the end of the day. The, the end is the Asian guy going, oh, at least it's not black people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. We don't like them. Well, they stink. <laughs> yeah, that's our little bit we do. Dude, but they, that's like, yeah, we don't do our normal. We're not like, how are you? What's dude, your day like? Co- 
I heard a cop doing aggressive Asian voice on Sixth Street. The Why? Day. The cops are the boys down here. Everybody, it's bro, so broy down here. The cop is, <laughs> the cop is like driving down Sixth Street. Yeah. Alder's got a video of it, and he was just going like, <laughs> "Move your car." I don't know why. He's like kind of trying to be silly. He's like. I don't know why you'd park here. There's signs. You're wasting money and time. Just move the car. Saying it through the PA yeah. while he's driving down the street. And then he just starts going, oh, move the car we told you. Move the car. Oh, my like, God. going like that. Holy shit. Dude, straight up. That's wild. You move now. You move now. He's, he's just Dude, I saw that same guy because that same tone, I saw him. <laughs> it's great. But he didn't do Asian. He was doing, move your car. Move your car. You're yeah. going to get towed. You're going to get a ticket. Especially the guy who left his dogs in his car. You're the biggest loser in the world. We all hate you. Yeah. And I was like, holy hell, dude. Yeah, dude. He transitioned into an Asian voice. Like, oh, through. yeah. <laughs> that's crazy, you dude. Move the car. Yeah, that's fucking psychotic. Yeah, it was Dude, we fucking, <laughs> we survived that show. What, the 30s? Yeah, we did well. Yeah, we all had a great time. I know. It was just looking rough, but it, like 15 people showed up. It was fun. I know. When, when we walked we in. We all had great sets. Everyone did good. I know. It was, it was kind yeah, of I was like pretty anxious about it, though. Yeah. That always makes you so anxious. When it's light and it's like showtime, you're like, oh. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Now, bad show's easier to, I don't get anxious before like a good show. Bad show's worse. Yeah, because yeah. I'm like, I, especially it was a longer set. I'm like, I'm going to have to eat it. Yeah. I'm just going to have to suck a cock for 25 minutes. It's going <laughs> <Yeah, gonna suck. laughs> to blow, dude. I hate it. I hate it. Dude, I worked out for the first time today in so long because I hurt my shoulder. I was so grumpy after. Really? Like, oh, yeah. You were grumpy. Just, I was Aren't tired. You, shouldn't you be flooded with endorphins? And... No, that doesn't happen to me. <laughs> I don't think it is. I was just pissed off. <laughs> that doesn't happen and to I you? Was, it does, but I was. it was so hard today that I was so tired and I was driving. Mm -hmm. And like, <sighs> my fucking, my main squeeze is being so gut. Dude, she's being nice and supportive. Sometimes this is... Just central to our dynamic. Sure. Sometimes I just need to be like kind of grumpy and quiet. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. And just stew for a minute. Yeah. And then let it out of my system. And she wants to fix it because she doesn't like seeing me in any form of discomfort. So she's just like, what's wrong? And I'm like, I'm just tired. She's like, you're grumpy. I'm like, I'm a little grumpy. And then, wow. and then like two that minutes later, me off. two minutes later, she goes, I'm like, Ugh, I'm going to get mad at something like traffic. She's like. I can drive if you want, if you're too tired. I'm like, I don't need you to drive. I'm like, I'm like, I just need, I'm, it's fine. I just need to be quiet and yeah. calm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's like, you just need to like fucking unravel for. Like, okay, fine. Oh, she gets, oh, no. Then she's upset because I was mean. Yeah, both of you guys are in the wrong. Definitely. Yeah, 100%. We need to just sit in silence. Does this happen all the time? It happens a decent amount. I, I heard she that. She doesn't like the quiet. Couples fight the same way their entire existence. Yeah, they were, there's no way. There's no changing. We're not going to develop It's just your dispositions. It's 100. just your personalities. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's she's... never going to change. Every time there's a minor issue or a major yeah. issue, she wants an immediate solution. And I'm like, sometimes the solution is just to let it wait, go. yeah. Just let it leave Leave me system. alone, yeah. Sweat it's hard it not to personalize things like that sometimes. What do you mean? Like, if your girlfriend or boyfriend is upset... And it's like, okay, now it's like my duty to like cheer them up or like I have to do something. Yeah, it comes from a good place. Yeah, it comes from a good place. But then like, it, it it can like, you know, you can be poking the bear a little bit. Yeah. I'm you like, know what I mean? Just chill. Yeah, no, the same same kind of shit. Like, like my girlfriend, she'll like get upset about something and I realize she doesn't really want, like I'm trying to talk her through it and she's really sweet. So she's not going to stop me from talking through it, but I can tell I'm not making it better. I'm probably, I might be making it worse. And then I'll go, should I just leave you alone right now? And she'll go, yes. Like, yeah, she'll, yeah. like, snap answer, yes. Like, oh, yeah, you guys have... Leave me alone. You're on uh, opposite sides of the thing. Kind of, a little bit, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I, you know, I think she's better at... I'm terrible at comforting people. I'm abysmal at it. <laughs> I'm not uh, very good at that. I'm not very good... I was thinking about this today. I'm fairly tactless. I mean, this is not new. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a new revelation for me. But, dude, I was in the green room yesterday. <laughs> fairly tactless. I, I'm fairly tactless. I was in the green room at Creek after my set, just hanging out. We were watching the Mavs game. Or, uh, yeah, the Mavs game. And uh, I'm sitting with this guy, Jeff, who I don't really know, and Captain and someone else who I knew. I think it was Jake. But we're all watching the basketball game, and I just, I'm like sitting this close to this person I've met twice. And I just let loose the biggest fart, like the biggest, <laughs> nastiest, wettest fart, dude. And the guy, Jeff, was like, Jesus. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I was like, Jeff, I'm sorry. I, that was I'm acting way too familiar right yeah, now. Dude, I don't just, know why I did I that. I think it's called rude. That yeah, rude. I was like, that was mad rude. I'm. Sure. <laughs> I go, that's a. I known you for five years, far, and I've just met you. I, I was mortified. I was like, why? Did, I just wasn't thinking. I just went. <laughs> 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 you remember we talked to we talked to Billy about when we he first met Bola, yeah yeah he when hates Billy me. was like an open biker yeah he, 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 like, he, you were so mean to me and you were like why and it was like you weren't saying mean things to him he was like I would just be talking to you about yeah. like how excited I was to do stand up and you would just walk away yeah, yeah. you would just turn around and walk away I probably hit him with one. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Another one of these. Fairly I'm like four years into comedy and just jaded and evil. I'm 24 <laughs> years old. Ugh, here we go. I'm fairly Get a load of this fucking guy. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I'm signing up at the bar open mic Dude, with him. Dude, Anjan has the least tact I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, he's awesome. And I've noticed it's like a cultural, it's a cultural difference, lack of tact. Like, Anjan's also insane. Yeah. But besides being crazy, yeah. it's like he doesn't know, he doesn't understand innuendo. Sure. And he doesn't understand implications. Yeah. And he doesn't understand the I'm, I'm tongue this, in cheek. I'm this way too. Yes, he's terrible with anything autistic, tongue in cheek. Yeah. He's not good with innuendo. Like I remember one time we were hanging out with like this girl he was dating, and her mom was there, and she's like this old kind of drunk, crazy Latin lady. So mm -hmm. I'm like hitting on her. I'm like, Ah, oh, Dolores, hey, don't get me started. I'm doing yeah, that whole yeah, thing, yeah, like yeah. hitting on the old lady who's like. Yeah, a but drunk. you're being coy. Yeah, so I'm being yeah. coy. She's like a drunk, and and then she's like, she's like liking the attention, you know, and it's like a silly bit we're doing throughout the night, yeah. and then literally he's like. We like have enough drinks. He's like, "Oh, the Lord's, you're gonna go home and suck Luke's cock lip." <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "You're gonna suck his fucking cock." Dude, he became fully into Dude, and it brought everything <laughs> to a screeching halt. He was aggressive. We were Indian. having such a coy, like chummy time. Yeah, he's terrible at being chummy. Yeah, he's not. He's not. Yeah, these. I are... don't have chum. Yes, I'm chumless. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm. I'm. I can't chum. No, you're not. No, you're not that chummy. I'm not chummy you're at all. Not very chummy. I told you I called Skate one time and go, "Am I charming?" She went, "No." <laughs> like gut reaction. <laughs> That's your no. girlfriend. No, so not really. No, I wouldn't call you charming. <laughs> Damn, dude, that's so funny. Yeah. Am I charming? No. 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 I've, I've I've talked about this before. Like when I do bad, it's on stage. Like a lot of the time, it's just like total lack of like likability like i do something early to just throw away like the bits can be great whatever my performance can be spot on but it's just because i'm like i kind of went up and did something kind of dickish yeah you know to start i did this the other day i have that bit about like there's no official language in america yeah and then someone goes there should be you should be fucking english like some guy like kind of yeah. chirped at me and i went yeah but there's no rules my whole point and he was like, yeah, and I'm, yeah, there's no rule. I'm like, yeah, so around, this man. is, because this conversation's over quick, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that rules. I'm so glad you did that. I would have loved that. Dude, but I hadn't done any bits. I hadn't been funny. No, you I hadn't, hadn't endeared yourself. You hadn't like, endeared so you myself no for point. so you're pointless. Okay, so then shut the fuck. You know, I'm like yeah. just spazzing. No, that happened. And I everyone do. was like, "Jeez." Oh, the other <laughs> night, I love like do, saying something kind of like doing something weird or crazy at the beginning of the set because if it pays off, yeah. they love you. And now yeah, yeah. I'm like, I can say anything. Yeah. But when it doesn't pay off, it's so like, bizarre. Ooh. And I went up after Anthony the other night, and I was like, "Oh, this is a cool crowd." Papali. Yeah, Anthony okay, Papali. Okay. He's our, Anthony's our friend. He's fully Indian, but his name's Anthony Papali. He's half and Indian. And Gardini are, No, he's fully Indian. No, he's a half Italian. No, he's not. That's wrong. That was just a roast joke. He told me. I asked him. I said, "You're half Italian." He's not Italian at all. He's, Why is his name Papali? This is my. This is my point. And Gardini and I are always like, "That sounds like you're from New Jersey." Anthony Papali. Literally, I went on stage. Anthony Papali. So I swear to God, I went on stage. I was like. <laughs> I was like, isn't it funny his name's Anthony Papali? I'm like, it's the most sounds like a kid I grew up with. And I yeah. started going, hey, I'm fucking Anthony Papali. I started yeah. going, my father owned a 7-Eleven. His <laughs> father owned a 7-Eleven. Hey, yeah, hey, yo. Hey, you want some M&M's? I'll send it uh, to you on the side. Hey, yeah, yeah, hey yeah. Kid, why don't you go get yourself a Gatorade, <laughs> pack of cigarettes, whatever you like. Get yourself something nice. Yeah, I started just doing that. They bombed? Oh, they hated it. Why? That's not I, even offensive. No, they didn't like it. It was a lot of chicks. You know me. <laughs> With the ladies. No, it's just like a silly voice. Yeah, I was just doing that. I was just doing Anthony Papali's Indian family talking. As like yeah, that's hilarious. Italians. I thought it was funny. You gotta be a fucking doctor. What yeah, are you doing? Yeah, this, is exact, this is the bit I was Yeah. 
This is what I was doing. Not the lawyer, engineer, what the fuck are you doing doing this fucking comedy shit? <laughs> my wrong. Hey, I'm working hard here. I gotta feed all fucking 48 of my family members that live in my house. <laughs> hey, it's a lot of fucking mouths. To hey, feed. look, we gotta worship this fucking elephant. He's got six fucking arms, this guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was doing that. Yeah. They hated it. They really didn't like it. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> I thought he was half Italian. No, no. That's funny. No. That's that's crazy. It's insane that his name's Anthony Papali. Oh, okay. Maybe he changed it. His name's fucking I think Sa- his, his... Satar B- Bahubadu. <laughs> sure, his name dude. is definitely Mumbai. Yeah. Uh, Mangarish. Sridartha. Yeah, it's definitely fucking Gandhi. Yeah. It's just Gandhi. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. It's definitely fucking Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. <laughs> and he just fucking fully just changed it. His uncle just died in a helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny to call yourself tactless <laughs> hockey. That's, that's fucking what? great. Has it, have, have you gotten better at tact? Or, or oh, do you no. care less? I, no, I just catch myself. I think before I used to maybe not catch myself as much. Yeah. It's hard to say. I felt bad the, uh, just now because it, uh, I, was tr- I was trying, dude. What were you trying? But I also get worked up when I, I like saying mean things. It's probably not a good. I'm a bit a little bit maybe too much, you know. I have like a disagreeable streak, and I like like I revel in it, you know. Yeah. Especially righteousness when I think I'm right and I get to be mean. Like I love that, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can step up the line. I mean, I argued with uh, you know a friend of a friend about fucking uh, Christianity for a while, and I that called... guy sounded like a retard. Yeah, that was kind of brutal. I mean, that's that was insane. Yeah, it was insane. <laughs> yeah, he saw a gay flag out of. Baptist church, and he got like really mad, and he called it like sexual immorality. And then I said, if you believe. That kind of shit. You're, a f- I said, those kinds of beliefs are utterly moronic. At one point in the <laughs> in our heated discussion, <laughs> and like, I, dude, I fucking lost it. But then I was thinking about, and maybe I'm, but I was like, I was thinking about apologizing, and then I went, I don't, I believe that. No, I'm no, not going to apologize for that. I'm with you again. I one. that's no. how I feel. No, for sure. And I'm an ally. I, I love. This is our fight song. <laughs> I felt like such a cuck. I'm like, dead people like us. <laughs> you can dude, him. There's something going on where it's like, dude. The, it, just put it, in a septum ring. It's mm. just like dystopian internet culture where it's like, when you go online and you spend all day online, it's like porn. And now these like, there's like these video games and porn and like scams. Yeah. And, mm. and, and, uh, macho bullshit. Ma- it, it will. So I, That's I, I noticed it's like scams, porn, and then there's like these like like uh, video games. It's like violence, like yeah. these like IRL like like kick streamers that I, yeah. I'll see clips of. Yeah. They're just doing like to catch a predator, but they're like yeah, they're like just oh you piece of shit, you're trying to fuck a 14 year old, aren't you? Yeah, it's high like, octane craziness. Insane. Yeah, it's like intense. they'll go out into public and get in fist fights, and it's yeah. like it's live Dude, streaming. I, so it's like so <laughs> chaotic. And then I'm like, there's all these guys that want to like find a righteous path which i would say is like you you want to avoid all the gross stuff so you want you're like this is gross this is depressing it's dystopian i would like to live a nice life which yeah. to me would be like you get married and have a family and hold down a job and be nice to your loved ones yeah but they end up looking for like role models online because they mm-hmm. spend so much time online mm-hmm. so then it's like Andrew Tate is the guy telling you how to live your life and that's how you get to the point where you're like it's sexual immorality yeah like that guy thinks he's living like that guy v- yeah I know you're right as like the head of a nuclear family yes and I'm like no dude that you're listening to like a crypto scammer yeah tell you like 1500s theories. right you got this way via like Twitter it like makes no sense yeah yeah I was a uh... Not to be, it's like a kind of like suicide in a way. Like I, I like vaguely learned about Camus and he talked about this where it's like rather than face how insane and absurd and ridiculous life is, you, you can like sort of kill yourself by doing something like that. By like joining an orthodoxy is a form of suicide where you're like, okay, I'm just going to deny like the world in a way that's similar to like dying. Uh, yeah, and then yeah, it's yeah. more comforting. It's like, no, I don't live in the world. I live outside the world. Like, that's like a lot of people, too, They why they join cults. It's so they can, like, delineate. You know what I'm saying? They need structure to help them digest the chaotic nature of life. Right, but then the structure itself denies the ex- – almost denies the validity of everything else. Like, um, like they, they call it, like, the secular world or something like that. Like, worldly things. Yeah. You know? And it's like, you're the world. 
Like you're denying that you exist. You're a way. living person on the right. planet. Right. It's a denying of your own existence. So it's like kind of like killing yourself. It's like they called it philosophical Because you're othering yourself. You're othering yourself. You're painting yourself into this corner so that like you can sort of put these blinders on, you know, in the way that it's like rather than face it, you know. Yeah. Like the brave moral thing is to face the fact that we live in a world where, you know, there's porn everywhere and there's violence everywhere and there's, you know, the worst things of the world are occurring and to actually like integrate them into your life and like go through it rather than go, that's bad. That's not, duh, 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 duh. that's not the way things should be. Put it out, put it out, put it out, you know? Yeah. Well, accepting randomness in any form is hard for people. Right. Absurdity. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Like just arbitrarity. Like everything is like. I was thinking about this the other day, too. It was just like, no, I don't think I'm, like, really sold on free will. I don't really think it's right. <laughs> so what are you looking Even for? if you accept that there are is you, free will, like a, you have to object. Like a Calvinist? <laughs> yeah. A pre, I, was, I made that joke with the guy I was arguing with about Christianity. Go, I'm a predetermined guy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a predeterminist. <laughs> so, like, why? Hit me with your free will thing. There's no way it's not. I mean, like, I. it's kind of like where I... Similar, well, I'm agnostic on free will. Like, anything that we experience as free will could just be the illusion of free will, and there's not really any way of telling, you know? But even if you ignore that, you're like, the, like, 99% of your choices are made for you, no matter what. Like, the fact that we're American, the fact that we're white, the fact that we're men, the fact that we're comedians, the fact that we went to college, like, all these things, there's no, we had no choice in any of these. Yeah, they're almost nothing. I hear what you're saying. Like, like, you barely choose your shirt. There's circumstances of your birth. The, your circumstances of your birth, your genetic, it, everything, yeah. dude. Where you're, everything. It's like, it, You barely I, choose your shirt because your shirts are whatever's available around where you live. Exactly. Or it's even your taste. It's like, it's probably because your dad wore this kind of shirt. You know, it's like shit like that. There's yeah. nothing that's really yours. Yeah. I was thinking the other day, like, imagine if you lived in a time, like, back when, like, Lenny Bruce was saying something really revolutionary. Yeah. Imagine you were the first guy to be like, we should be able to say whatever we want. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, dude, it's like, what? It's like a real revolution. Because I was getting annoyed at, like, I don't know if it was comedy or music. I was like, this sounds like this, like, doing that thing. And it's I'm derivative. Like, well, everything is derivative of something at this yeah, point. Yeah, of course. But imagine when it wasn't. Imagine, like, being Isaac Newton and being, like, why are we stuck in the ground? Yeah. And everyone's like, holy fuck, that's a great point. I never even that's thought crazy. about why we're on the ground. <laughs> That'd be crazy to live in a time. Why are we on the ground? Where you're like, <laughs> where yeah. zero people have ever thought of that? Yeah. This you're, is the before, first, you're the yeah. first guy. But the idea of like comparing that to space, like space is all an idea. Yeah. There's no way that we even know that shit floats in space. It's easier to not care about it, though, because it's, it's, it's over there. Yeah, it's over, way over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who gives a shit? But gravity's here. Yeah, gravity's sucking you down. Yeah. <laughs> Pulling me down. It's fucking weighing you down, though. Yeah, no, there's no... I don't know. There's not as many... Speaking of gravity, there's not as many fatties as I thought there'd be here. I thought there'd be more fatties. There's yeah, but fatties. it's... Yeah, we're still in, like, a younger, techier city. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like if we went to, like... I'm trying to think of, like, a real fat place. There's kind of some studs, dude. Oh, yeah. There's some studs. Hot guys. The guys at my gym? The guys are... That's like Dylan was saying. It's like everybody has a fucking thick spark. Yeah, yeah. He loves sorry, it, yeah. sorry, Dylan. I just did the gayest, most flamboyant impression of him. He has like a gay voice a bit. I'm like, hey, I'm uh, Dylan. No, he's super gay. He's, he's gay. gay. Yeah, he's my He's man. gay guy. He's very gay. He's. I'd say he's just gay. You don't, you wouldn't say he's very gay. I know. I've known gayer. I have too. I was right like, here, bud. Pew <laughs> pew 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 pew. pew. One more quip like that, and I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> One more little joke. I was explaining himbos to Autumn. Because <laughs> the guy who works at the gym. Total himbo. Oh, he's a piece he's of like, ass. Hey. Dude, he's, a, he's, a, he's like, he's like a Never had Puerto Rican hot guy. He's got like dumb hot guy tattoos. Love like, that. They're sexy because they're retarded. Yeah. You know what I mean? I love mean? that. I yeah. love that. It's Just like praying the most, hands. They're it's the like, most pedestrian you know. tattoos ever. Oh, he's God. in perfect shape. Ugh. He's got perfect teeth. They look like veneers. And he's like the nicest person ever. And I mean. Not he, a thought in his fucking head. Eight or nine brain cells max. Yeah. He's a, he's a moron. F- yeah. He's an absolute <laughs> moron. And he's so, I love guys. like We need fucking so nice. idiots. And I was like, he's at the front desk. I'm like, he's perfect. He's an angel. He's an angel. Dude. Yeah. He's perfect. I have to just walk in and he's like, <laughs> you guys are back, dude. <laughs> Whoa. Glad to see you're part of the family now. I'm like, 
Thank you, man. Glad it's, <laughs> and he is glad. Yes, he's genuinely glad yeah. that I joined the eleven dollar a month. I love family. a dumb, a dumb nice person. Yes, no, you gotta that, love a dumb nice person. Yeah, yeah, that happened with me. Especially uh, if they're really hot. Yeah, great. I might have told that. I might have told the story to you when I first started opening for Tim, and he hadn't been to Portland, Maine. And I was at this point, I was so young, I just didn't yeah. have anything to say. So I was really excited to show him something because he had never been to Portland, Maine. I started a comedy in Boston. Yeah, I'm like, it's a great little city. You're gonna love it. And it is a beautiful city. You would love it. Red brick buildings, cobblestone it's roads. Quaint. You get a fucking lobster. Antique shops and yeah, like fucking exposed brick and wood beams. New England and, shit. New England. It's very New England. I love, I that, love that aesthetic. Yeah. It's the best. Old pub that's like 400 oh, years old. I need it's that. It's great. They haven't changed a thing. It's yeah. awesome. And literally, we and it's snowing. It's like the weather's like pretty. Yeah. And we pull up in Portland, Maine. We get out, and I'm like excited for him to like Check it. Check it like, out. And he's like. Oh God! What the fuck? He's like, <laughs> immediately enraged. He goes, "I'm so sick of these little New England towns where everyone's like, let's get a cappuccino or read the New Yorker. Take me to San Diego where everyone's hot and retarded." <laughs> he, was like, so, he was like, "I just want to be around a hot, hot dumb, retards, hot retards, yeah. nice hot retards." Yeah, yeah, that's okay. We've got some of those in Austin for sure. Oh, there's hot retards. There's everywhere. hot retards, but a lot of them are like kind of tech, tech adjacent. Yeah, those people are kind of like dot. Like, you ever have Dude, a friend who's yeah. in the medical field, and you're like, "Oh, you're unbelievable at this one thing, and everything else." You you're know a fucking idiot. About. Like a doctor? Yes, that's. I have multiple friends that are like doctors or nurses that are dumb doctors. They're not dumb. Like, if they took the fucking SAT, they'd probably score well. But they don't know about anything besides the medical. Oh, field. what's going on? But they know. I have like answer. math friends like that, engineering yes. friends like that. I have friends that are like they can answer any medical question. I'm like my ankle hurts. What's They're going like, on there? They're like it's, it's the tibulus manu- yes. manubitus. Yeah, they it's know. The gubitus behubitus. Yeah. Like oh, you're fine. Yeah. Like I like I'll think I'm having like a brain tumor. They're like oh, it's a my. They're like oh, it's you a migraine. Does it hurt your nose? Like it's your sinuses. It's a migraine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's more of a cardiovascular headache. Yeah, yeah, blah, yeah. Blah blah blah. And I'm like, oh wow, dude, they I had that bad. Yeah, I was having a pounding headache, freaking out about this thing with and I. My, I was at like a thing with my uncle, and he's a doctor. And he was, have you drank water recently? <laughs> You're like, no. Not for two years. And he's like, I'm like, not for about a couple of days. And he goes, drink some water. See if it goes away. And I drink water. I'm like, I was really thirsty. <laughs> You're thirsty. I was so thirsty. I had a pounding <laughs> headache. I had this exact thing where you're so, you're so retarded. I'm just a moron. You're I so felt re- like an ape. I felt like Maybe a- You're hungry. <laughs> Dude, literally. Fuck, I am ah, hungry. Shit. Shit, that's I've point. had that where I thought I was getting sick, but I was just so caffeinated that I didn't realize I was starving. I was like tweaking on like four espressos. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, I feel like shit. I feel crit. My head hurts. My stomach. I'm all over the place. And then I have a bite of an apple and I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm alive. I'm so addicted to oh, caffeine. Oh, I'm alive. I'll just keep drinking myself into a headache. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll drink fucking... caffeine myself into a headache. Yeah. I mean, how, how many times I've had like an 8 p.m. cup of coffee and then I'm like I'm tossing and turning at 3 a.m. and I'm like, what the fuck is my problem? I've convinced myself coffee doesn't keep me up fully. Keeps me oh, of course it, it keeps everybody up. If I have coffee. a Diet Coke past like 11 p.m., I'm going to be up till three in the morning <laughs> yeah, dude, it's it. like yeah but i kind of need it like yeah. even i don't know i like to be a little caffeinated when i do comedy me too which is not great i i, I like i now have like a so? diet coke pre well it keeps me up all fucking night oh i just my sleep gets all fucked. Not great for your sleep bad for my sleep yeah yeah i like to have caffeine in me love it dude i don't like when i'm sleepy or groggy despise stage. it yeah I, i've like sworn off drinking before now i can't do it i like that i yeah uh, I did two shows at the mommy ship the other night. Hell and yeah. the first one, I was like, I'm not drinking a sip of booze. I was mm-hmm. like dead sober. Yeah. And then I had a beer and a shot before the second one. The second one was way better. Nice. I'm actually a little, I've gone too far because I'm like, we moved here for work. We got to Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to be like, square. Very, trying to be locked in. Yeah. And being like, people are seeing me for the first time. These yeah. are all good thoughts. Right. But I'm like, I'm staying dead sober. And then I'm like, I'm a little, I'm a little tense. Tight. Yeah, no, I, tight. I do that too. Now I'm I had like, a beer and a shot. I'm like, oh, I'm a little super so I got a, uh, I'm going to try to do the callback for the mommy ship Sunday and uh, for show the Mama Cita. Everybody show up. Yo, catch your boy at the Mama Cita. my man. <laughs> this comes out the day after <laughs> that I would have done it. Come out and it's hours. certainly sold out. But we come on out. Come on already. out yesterday. Yeah. See me yesterday live. Just wish Kristoff good luck on something that already happened. Yeah, that already happened. And be like, hey, good luck on that yesterday. Uh, but yeah, I'm like, I'm not going to drink. I'm not going to drink Saturday. I'm going to try to, like, sleep. You know what I mean? I'm like, I might meditate again. I used to meditate every day. No, I never meditate. You meditate. I used to meditate every day. I missed your woo-woo face. Yeah, you missed it. You were doing, it was like, like acid and meditating. Yeah. 
in during COVID, I was like really, I was doing like yoga, vegetarian, DMT. That's crazy. Yeah, running. I can't picture this being you. Well, it's just like a reaction to like neuroses. Okay. And then honestly, I started going to therapy and I started taking fucking, fucking anxiety meds. That I was like, oh, that fucking did it. I'm pretty much fine now. <laughs> Pretty much good right. now. You just needed Prozac. I literally needed Prozac. <laughs> I was so I don't know if it's how much of it's placebo, but within a week, I was like and I was taking a light dose. Within a week, my anxiety that was at a eight or nine, like pretty consistently, went to like a six, five. It just went down just like nuked it. Forty percent. I was like, Oh. I remember I had this thing, I don't even remember what it was, but something twiggled me. Okay. I had my twiggles. You got twiggled? I had my twiggles. I got to be careful with that. I had my twiggles. twiggles. And I remember feeling the pang of anxiety come on. Like, you know, when like something, you know, something's going to freak you out. Yeah. Like it hits you like, I'm going to freak out about that. And then it just went away. And I was like, what the fuck? It was like weird. It was like a bizarre physical sensation. You were bugging out about COVID though. Like the disease. Yeah. Right? I was when it first came around. Like the virus. Yeah, for sure. That's crazy. Yeah. I freaked the fuck out. I was, I. I honestly, that's not even a flex. I don't think I was scared for more than a week. I'm too, like, yeah. a, I'm too much of a guy. It was like, <laughs> I'm too, like, like retarded, yeah. like, male brain, where I was like, I can't see it. Like, I was that way before they started shutting things down. That just infuriated me. That but, was, I met that with pure rage and nothing else. That's crazy. Yeah. I wasn't, it wasn't like, a f- oh, they shut things down. That's scary. I was yeah. like, I, this is, re- we, I can't go to a, like to get a sandwich this is retarded what do you mean <laughs> what if you what if you're in the same room as a guy getting a sandwich and you have and it's a legitimately deadly virus that if he coughs near you it could kill you but i didn't see i didn't think it was like deadly it's not but that's that what they were like purporting it as to be like it could kill one percent of people who get it two percent of people who get it which is crazy it is crazy when you, you think imagine about eight, the like numbers. i don't know how many people actually died from covid i don't know the numbers I probably fudged so. Probably fudge as hell. Yeah. I ain't met no one. I I ain't met no one who died. Yeah, how many people died of COVID? Fucking zero. How about this? Goose egg, brother. Nothing. Yeah. Zippo. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I don't know how many people actually died. I think a lot. Yeah, it was a shit ton. How many Americans died of COVID? What do you think? A million. Yeah, I bet it's more. I don't know. I'm guessing. I remember the numbers being like, it was a crazy month this month. It was 20,000. Yeah, that was just in Florida. Uh, no, not deaths. Deaths, yeah. Deaths. I remember the daily cases in Florida got up to like 15, 20K a day. Yeah, it was crazy. I thought it was like a 20,000 death thing for like, and that was like in like the heat of it. Like pre-vax, like summer. 1.2 million deaths in the U.S. That was pretty good. Yeah. 1% death rate. You know, yeah. I mean, yeah. It that's had to a be less than 1%. It's a lot of people. But oh, I was like, no. No, I'm wrong about that. You think a third of people got but COVID? But after like a like month, and I was COVID. like, well, I don't know one young, healthy, not even healthy. I don't know one person under the age of 45 who's died of this. Yeah. Thing. No, I or know. Or even has been like hospitalized seriously. I know. Not to open up the giant can of worms that was this debate in 2020 and 2021, but it's like if you thought people over 45 had a good chance of dying, you would stay in. Yeah. And that's what was, like, kind of being reported early on. Yeah, Not, like, exactly that, but I something along those lying. lines. I know, but that's what I mean. You just went, no, which yeah. is, like, crazy to me. I go, how the fuck do you know? You don't know. Yeah, but I was like. This is the center of I'll, all the debate. But I was like, it's a the, guy going, that ain't it, and then me going, how do you know? But and then, then that's go, the only thing. Know? Exactly. How do they know? How do you know that they know that I don't know? Nobody knows. It goes, in, yeah, it so goes. So my infinite. point was, if nobody knows, but, let, me get, but, let me go to the bar. Right. If nobody knows, but I want to get but a But the beer. cautious answer is, if nobody knows, let's not go to the bar. That's not how I felt at all. I know. So <laughs> I this is know. just, I think it's more of a, it's more about disposition than it is about, I mean, this is a hack take, but it's like, it's more about your disposition than anything. If a, if a piece of authority goes, hey, this could be really bad, you go, eh, it might not be. Yeah. And then, you know, fucking I Woody Allen go, goes, hey, maybe it could be. I was like, yes. <laughs> yeah. you, you never know. You know, we can, they, They're saying it's airborne. You're right. To touch every your nerd, face. every nerd. Six feet, please. Every nerd is like, it could be scary. And then, I was just like, let me let me go to the, let me get a tequila shot at my own fucking risk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's not, but the whole point is it's not your risk. I hated that. I didn't sign up to be responsible for everybody. 
That's, I never, when did I sign that <laughs> right, contract? Right. I, What's I, that I, social contract I understand. where everybody else's health is my responsibility? I, I understand. Sorry. I understand. I'm fully, I'm whopping out. I here. understand. Yeah. I'm not, and I'm, the, yeah, I'm obviously not that guy. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm not fucking work really worked health. up about it. <laughs> I, like, I know. But the people at public health are probably like, please stop. And you're like, fuck you. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> See, at, also, in America, I'm like, when have any of us ever been looking out for the neighbors? Yeah. When it, like. America? We just to say howdy doody, Susie. That's not how the. The, the missus made a not... pie if you want to come by. <laughs> yeah. That's howdy like, doody. That's true and leave it to beaver. Yeah, that's else. what I mean. Dude, Dude that, oh, this yeah. country is based is not based in like looking out for your fellow man. As much as that that's is so depressing, sad. It's depressing. That's the saddest thing I've ever it's heard. It's true though. That's not what America's America's no. based in like find an industry you can dominate in it and it's, dominate it's in about it. Domination. Just do, stomp it into yeah, the ground. Yeah, it's more uh, what's it's manifest and pay destiny. Four dollars an hour yeah. and pour shit in the fucking right. sewage system. Yeah. Like it's like cover children in soot and make millions. Yes. Yeah. Which is not nice, but I'm like, if that's how we've been functioning for hundreds of years, don't expect <laughs> it's me so funny. to be fucking. It's Gandhi. so funny how much of like an individualist you are. Oh yeah. Just to your core. Definitely. It's all it's just it's just what I do and how it affects people near me and nothing else. Yes. It's no big picture. <laughs> it's no like no. collectivist ideology is is just a no go for you. Hundred no, no, it's not I my can't thing. help but hear it out. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not my thing. And I'm not saying I'm, I'm any like my... I don't think I act any more morally than you do. I'm not trying to be like a fucking gay like libtard who's like you I, I care about everybody else and you don't. No, I'm a you big, know. like, if, like, uh, if you want to get in, involved in politics, you're most functional at the local level. Of course. Yeah. Like, I don't think anyone, most, no serious person really. But that's not how everybody functions. Like Biden's a fucking. Yeah. Trump's well, well Trump's... I mean. <laughs> yeah. He is. <laughs> Biden more like. Get to me. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, yeah. But, I mean, yeah, you're right. I am an individual. It's crazy. At the the yeah, at the end of the day, that's what you are. It's not like I don't. I and I think that's, like, again, like, back to, like, the cards you're dealt. Like, you didn't have any choice in being an individualist. No. You just are. Yeah. It's just the way you see things. So, yeah, it's, like, realistically, Your politics I can comes lives. after your personality. I can meaningfully obviously. improve the lives of, like, seven people. Yeah. Max. Right. Like, realistically yeah. speaking. Yeah, and I can, you know, unimprove. <laughs> What's the opposite of improve? <laughs> worsen. Worsen. <laughs> I can worsen millions. That's my goal. <laughs> That's right. Hitler was more of a They shall pay. Huh? Yeah, definitely. Was. Yeah. He was a socialist. Yeah. Think about it, man. Fellas. <laughs> I mean, that was in the Just name. Swipe. I think it was more in name than anything. But he was socialist in the way that he's like, you know, his group. Dude, I keep getting like uh, white nationalists. I, that's like Dude, half some of them Twitter. are like insane. Yeah, that's like half my Twitter. And I'm Twitter. like, oh, like it hurts my stomach. I know. I'm so like intrigued by it, though, because like. Dude, you'll see these guys and they have like 200 followers. Yeah. But they're like commenting on all, like, uh, you know, on all these posts and yeah. stuff like that, like tweeting back. It's got to be like fucking Russia. Like, I was on this guy's Twitter the other day because he was so angry at yeah. everyone that's not a white European. Yeah. But he like, at lived fake a- Chris Jean on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, at Sean Gardini. Shallow on follow, follow Sean Gardini. On <laughs> Sean Gardini on Twitter. Follow Sean Gardini on Twitter. Uh, I just no. can't stand my But I'm words. like, damn, dude. Dude. I fucking hate different races. Dude, at the end of the day, we need an ethno state. <laughs> dude, 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 Nick Fuentes is like the goat. Dude, 12% <laughs> of the population is 50% of the crowd. Just think about it, dude. Yeah, dude, you know what fucking per capita means? Do you know what that means, dude? <laughs> <laughs> They're all on fucking welfare. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why should I pay for your fucking hot chips? Yeah. I don't even know what the identity of this country is anymore. Dude, it this, it's a white it Christian nation first and foremost. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, all right, all right, Sean. All right, Gardini. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Gardini. That's nice. That's nice. Nazi Gardini, dude. <laughs> dude. But I was SS at, Gardini. The guy I was looking at was like, dude, this guy lived like what looked like a nice life where he like has a farm with little animals and he like goes to the local creek they and love watches farms. the water. They really they like do, farms. But in my mind, I'm like, if you live such a nice, peaceful life, why do you, why, you, like, why are black people riling you up so much? I'm also like, when do you ever see them? They riled him up so much he went to a fucking farm. I guess that's probably <laughs> true. <laughs> that's, I think, they all want to go to the woods. Look they at, do. you know, it's Ruby Ridge. Yeah. They're, he's Ruby Ridging. Well, that's coming back now on, in these little, like, white nationalist Yeah, circles. of course. They're like, oh, the cities are dead. You can't get away from black people in any yeah, cities. Cool. You gotta yeah. go to the woods. 
the woods are the only. I'm these woods are white. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. it's literally screaming at the sky. These woods are white. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. 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 There was a Twitter thread that was like one guy was like. What cities can I go to where there's no black people? Everyone's like, unfortunately, none are left. Like, man, what, used to what be is able that? To. Who is that guy? Yeah, right. I'd like to enjoy maybe like a, like a gastro pub. Yeah, <laughs> but I don't want to see fucking Jamal enjoying an IPA <laughs> next to me. You know, I, I'm a sucker for an axe throwing ball. Right? <laughs> yeah, dude. Man, what do you Tyrone want? Comes what in, the I'm fuck late. do you want in the cities? Yeah, right. You know, I'd I'd love to have uh, you know infrastructure and you know good public transportation, but shit, if I'm gonna look at damn uh, uh, you know Rakisha right next to me, I don't fucking want it. I'd like it like a farm to table restaurant with some artisanal cocktails. <laughs> 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 Maybe like a smoked old fashioned and a roasted trout. Yeah, something like that. You know what I mean? Like a martini it's and like, like dude, one of those old timey glasses and a speaker. You want to fillet squirrels? Yes, that's what you want to do. Yeah, what do you want to fillet squirrels? It's fine. Yet. It's fine. I'd like like a curated vintage shop, like a consignment. Yeah, That'd be great. I'd love to go to just like a vineyard. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to go to a vineyard and find a nice tree, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so no one in the world. Yeah, what is it? Yeah. It makes no sense. I want to go to the city. What do you want to go to the city no, for? Yeah, you're not going to like it. I'm going to go to Times Square? No. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, they'd hate it. I fucking hate racist, dude. Have you missed New York yet? These York are home? my fine songs. Take back my rights songs. <laughs> Taking a knee for fucking uh, Kaepernick, but uh, not really. No, not yet. Yeah, no. I, I miss- you know what I miss is like easier access to like good food. Yeah, like because the shit that's walkable around here, there's like three restaurants and they're good, but they're open at odd hours or or they're unhealthy or both. Yeah, we've talked about this. The the cheap casual food in New York, yeah. is where it separates itself. Same with yeah. San Francisco. There's like a good, good halal place too. actually right down the street. It's really good here. I awesome. had great um, just chicken over rice. I was like, this is nice. And it wasn't fatty. Yeah. We it found a good great. Thai restaurant. Nice. Cheapo Thai places. Yeah. Great. The, I would love that, dude. Yeah. Yeah. But you got to drive to it. Like a super spicy coconut soup. The best. In the the best, dude. Great. Yeah. Yeah. There was a good, really great place like that. In, uh, I miss in like Atlanta. a sunny day walking around. That's that's all I'm. It just, is like, hot as shit. Oh, it's crazy. Dude, I walked across to the fucking corner store. Dude, it's going to be 99 on Sunday. The high yeah. is 99. 99. 99. Nueve, nueve. <laughs> what do you think? I, I can't imagine what, like, full humidity 105 is going to feel like. It's going to be 105? Yeah. It's not full humidity. It's, like, 50 humidity. No, it's one of the most humid cities in the country. It's not 100, is it? It's not It's not Florida humid. I, I don't... Ah, no. Houston's more humid than any city in Florida, I believe. No way. I'm almost positive. Dude, I'm it's like you. oppressive humidity in Florida. Everywhere's 100. There's be like 110. Most humid. What, well, just look up the Austin humidity. Austin, I don't Sorry think we've lost everyone. Right. We're talking about the water in the air in, in Austin. And it's <laughs> but I am curious. I was under the impression. I thought I looked it up a while ago. It was okay, 50% okay, okay. humidity. Houston is more humid than Orlando or Tampa, but not as humid as Jacksonville. So this is the ranking. New Orleans, then Jacksonville, then Houston, oh, then Orlando. Oh, New Orleans is crazy. Then, then Tampa. New Orleans is nuts. Okay, so... This here is not as humid as Orlando. Okay. What's but, the humidity right now in Austin? 50? 60? It's not 100. So the average humidity at all these places is like 74, which is crazy. Right now it's 57. Okay. That's not as bad. No. I swear it was worse in Orlando. It would be like 100. Yeah. But it's disgusting here. Hot, I mean, it's going to be wise. It's going to be nuts. I was walking, walking around 92 and I was like, oh my God. Yeah, it's oppressive. I was dying. I was taking nice walks when I first got here. It had been a little bit cooler. It was like the beginning. It was like spring. It was spring for five minutes here. Yeah. It is now fully summer. Yeah. It's white boy summer. Yeah. Chad Hanks posted. Did you see? Yeah, dude. It was great. He posted, dude. <laughs> With Tom explaining the explaining beef. Explaining the beef is so funny. <laughs> it's so Just great. take a moment and look up him explaining the beef. Yeah. What, what, of, what, uh, Kendrick what, and Drake. what did Tom Hanks say back? He's like, wow, them's are fighting words. He said, them's are fighting words. Who's winning, do you think? And then Chad, Chad responded, did you not read the whole thing I just said? <laughs> 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 Such a hilarious thing to say to your father. You think Tom gets a kick out of him? I don't know. I don't know. I hope he does. I hope he. I mean, he sent him to fucking 
He sent them to like woods, the woods things, uh, the you know the the camps for bad kids that are basically like they do like the rich cr- people boarding schools where they like they like torture yeah. rich bad kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, they're like it's like so it looks like a resort in Vermont, but they're like tormenting. Yeah, they're making the them like carry a hundred pounds of like rocks up a hill, and then they <laughs> make them like dig a hole and stand at it, and they're like, "This is where you'll die." Just creating you the next up. generation of sociopath. Yeah, completely, <laughs> completely. Not even, dude. They're probably just fucking gonna start. Doing meth or something crazy. I don't know. It's going to like yeah. ruin kids' lives. Yeah, it's going to like permanently traumatize them. I was thinking about like, I talked about this with Joe Bagley. We were talking about like rich, like when you when you have like $100 million, it's mm-hmm. got to be so hard to make sure your kid's not a piece of shit. Yeah, I'm going to have that problem, I know. <laughs> 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 but he was telling me that he knew a rich kid. Super wealthy. His yeah. dad was ahead of some Fortune 500 company or whatever. Yeah. And the dad basically told him, you don't want to be like a trust fund baby who just lives off my money. That's for losers. It is That's for losers. That's lame as hell. It is for like, losers. Like he basically shamed it out of him. Was like, "Good, want to be a pussy." Yeah, it's gay. Yeah, making it's it so gay. gay. Yes, dude, not working is gay. Like yeah. not. You you seem significantly happier now that you have a job. I am happier. Yeah. Well, I was thinking about this too. I was thinking about like the Tate stuff. I was thinking like all of these like creepy weirdos. First of all, I think there's a problem with. It's probably related to like fitness and like. I don't know, like kids don't play sports as much or kids are eating worse food or, and they're fatter and they're weaker, you know what I mean? But I was thinking about this. I was like, blue-collar job knocks out like three of the five things you need to be happy. Yeah. It's like exercise, money. Community. Community. Yeah. Knocks it out. Boom, boom, boom. All you need is like pussy and like a house. And, and blue-collar job, you're not on your phone. Never. So you're disconnected from technology, Yeah. exercise, money, community. Right. I always loved, like, when I was a mover or a landscaper, it was, I did not dislike it. You feel really good. We had a, like, I only, I'm look, again, I work three days a week. I'm a pussy. I'm a huge gay guy. No, this is Blue Collar Chris Dove over I'm here. Blue Collar Chrissy, though. <laughs> I'm CDL Chrissy, dude. CDL Chrissy. CDL Chrissy. <laughs> CDL Chrissy. Who called you CDL Chrissy? My friend Javaris. That's great. <laughs> That's so CDL great. Chrissy. CDL Chrissy. <laughs> CDL Chrissy. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I gotta get my commercial driver's license. <laughs> CDL crazy. CDL crazy. Um, no, dude, it's just uh, made like you get the sun, you get exercise. Yeah, I'm like, dude, like those are like ninety percent of being happy. It's just like going outside and like moving around. Yeah, and I was thinking, I was like, so many kids who are like, you know, they're like young disenfranchised men. I'm like, dude, if you like legit learn a trade, like I bet you, you'll be way happier. I also you'll think be in just- better shape. You'll have more money. And you'll be happier. It's the most obvious thing ever, but we're also on our phones too much. Like that's yeah. I I think about like what bothers me or makes me it's like sad or anxious. Shit, eighty percent of the yeah, time. it almost all. Re- I'm like, if I just fucking put this thing down, this thing wouldn't bother me. Yeah, anymore. yeah. It's like what's bothering me: money, career, whatever. It's right. Like, just put the phone down. Right. It's not gonna. bother It's weird. You. It remind. It does not to be. It's a hack take too, but it's like it does remind me of like my relationship with like nicotine or something. You know, where like you want a little hit. Nicotine doesn't necessarily make you feel good. Like, I like it. But I need it. But I need to have it or I feel bad. It's a, it's a needing of something and feeling bad without it more than it is enjoying the thing. Yeah. You know? So I'm like, I can't. That The phone is the same thing. If you just, like, let's say you weren't on a cool vacation or a camping trip mm-hmm. and you just turned your phone off for three days. I'd be anxious about it the first day. Yeah. And the second day I'd still be anxious just about it. And I think by day yourself. three I'd get over it, but it would t- I'd have like a withdrawal. I'd be like, fuck, I, what if someone what if someone needs something? What what am I missing? Like yeah. you know, what if someone texted me? What if you know my mom called and da 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 Oh, did I tell you about my dad's fucking rope a dope with his his like fucking uh his like health? Well, no, what's going on? Dude, my dad calls me. He had to get all these scans. He okay. had to get all these, like, he get, a, like, a CT scan, and he had to get, like, an MRI, like, these things. Just, like, these big checkups because he's getting older, and he's worried about his lungs because he inhaled a lot of things, and he likes to smoke doobies sometimes. And he was worried about, Spence, like, just, like, like, like uh, you know, yeah, like, that kind of shit, like, yeah. uh, fiberglass inhaling. Like, he's in these dust places, you know. And so, and he hasn't been, he's had, like, a cough that's been bothering him or something. Goes to a, get a CT scan, like, see if he has, like, lung cancer. And all these other tests, blood tests, all these things. And he's like, yeah, you know, I got all these. He's like, you know, I had to get those rounds. This is how he calls me. Yeah, you know, I had to get all those rounds of tests. And, like, you know, like, just, you know, we got the results back today. And, you know, you're just going to, 
have to put up with me for a while because I'm perfectly fine. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck that is wrong rules, with you? Dude. That rules. I'm like, what is wrong with you? He goes, yeah, I'm probably I'm going to be on this earth for a couple more years, buddy. <laughs> Get fucking used to me. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm like, did you just like dude, fucking dad, psych me out with your death? Dude, your dad hit you, you freak? with a... I'm not fucking leaving! Yeah, dude, he, yeah, dude, literally. <laughs> you know, we might go, I'm not fucking leaving! Dude, he That's literally so hit me with the Wolf of Wall Street, I'm not fucking leaving. That's great, dude. He's like, yeah, I'm going fishing next week anyway. I'll tell you pictures. And you were like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, good lord. I, my stomach sank. Yeah. He got me good. He legit got me good. That's great. It's so funny, dude. Pulled your fucking leg, dude. dude he really yanked my chain on that one. <laughs> I was like, God damn it, dude, you fuckhead. That's great. <laughs> yeah, but he's fine. He's totally healthy. That's awesome. Yeah, he's been smoking pot for like 57 years. It tr- proves it does not really damage most people's lungs. Smoking joints? Everything, dude. Everyone always says blunts. Joints, pipes. No, no, he doesn't smoke tobacco. Okay. No tobacco. He's fine. Yeah, he doesn't ever smoke tobacco. He smokes cigarettes when he's like a child. Does he act weird, like weedy, like, like a weird? Sto- Does he have weird stoner tendencies, personality-wise, or has no. he been doing it so long it's just in there? No, the only <laughs> dude, I he's a guy who's like, there are certain guys who are like this, like, who they I wouldn't call them alcoholics, but they drink a lot. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, uh, and you're like, dude, when you have a couple of beers in you, you're like the coolest guy. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There's like a four or five beer guy who's just like, yeah, I have like three to six beers every day. And once I get them in me, I go from being a normal guy to being like the man. Yeah. And I'm like, my dad's kind of that way with pot. But when he gets stoned, he's the just the goofiest motherfucker. Yeah. He's like a silly goofball. That's he's good. like, oh, oh, doop, doop. like he's a doofus. He's <laughs> acting like Mickey Mouse. Dude, he's like on goofy mode, dude. Yeah. He's so silly. That's like the main. You can tell when he's stoned because he's like, <laughs> you know, he's like watching dumb sci fi and like, <laughs> he's literally putting on Looney Tunes and cracking up and eating fucking Snickers bars. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, he doesn't give a shit about anything. It's like hanging out with a really cool child. Yeah, yeah, dude, literally. <laughs> yeah, great. yeah, literally. Like, yeah, that's the way he's stoned. He just likes to eat and like watch. Like silly TV. I, that's great. Yeah, and he's retired, so he can do whatever the fuck he wants. I've been noticing like st- weird stone. I, I it's, this has been going on for a couple of years, but like there's stonery tendencies yeah. that start to bug me. Where I'm like, I'll just have a friend, and I'm like, they have. It, it just makes your personality different. In a some bad it way. dulls them out. Some people. Some of them it dulls them out. Some of them it makes them paranoid, and they don't even realize where it's like almost like they're more insecure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, you're, you're. Overly insecure right now, like you're worried about yeah. what people are thinking about you. I'm like, dude, relax. I legit Nobody think thinks anything badly about you. Yeah, likes you. my dad has such guy. a high tolerance and doesn't smoke. Like he smokes a pot frequently, but he's not this guy who's like constant. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he walks outside and goes outside every few hours type shit. He's not like some people just go blah 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 blah. Join it to join it to da da da. Like they they are like binging. Yeah. He doesn't binge. Okay. He just enjoys it. Couple hits. He enjoys it, and then he goes on with his day. You know what I mean? He's pretty, he's relatively moderate compared to the freak stoners I've known. Yeah. Who are, like, hitting dab rigs 97 times a day. And they're, like, melted. I'm like, you've melted your cerebral cortex. Yeah. You're fully retarded now. Yeah, it also gives you, like, it can give you a weird, like, narcissism. Yes. I've noticed that. It makes them, like, so myopic. It's like you don't, can't experience anything that's not two feet in front of your head. 100%. Because they're so, they're, like, dumb. They've dumbed themselves into selfishness. Yeah, I had a friend who was, like, a stoner, and he would do, like, you know, a lot of acid and mushrooms. And he was just like, honestly, man, I just really want to be the president. I'm like, you're losing your mind. Oh, he's bipolar. Yeah, yeah. That's psychotic. It was getting to that point. Yeah. He was like, I think I'd be good at it. Yeah. But That's, he didn't seem like manic. It was just like he was like, I would like to be the president. It it can, what's the word? Exasperate like underlying mental illness. Yeah, pot does that all the time. No one like. I wish people would be more realistic in teaching like kids about it. It's like if you're if you, you don't really know you're bipolar till you're like twenty. Yeah. And like if you smoke a bunch of pot while you're experiencing like the bipolarness coming through your brain, you'll be like double bipolar. Yeah, you know, so like if you articulate that to someone and be like, you should probably wait till you're like 22 to smoke pot. I've had multiple friends who were like bipolar and had manic episodes, and it almost always came alongside them like smoking a ton of weed, doing acid, like, yeah. doing mushrooms. Yeah, For no, sure. I had a buddy in college who was convinced that he was convinced that the album To Pimp a Butterfly was about him. Yes, I've, yes, this happened to a friend of mine with uh, Abbey Road. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like grand- grandiosity, and it's bizarre. It's delusional grand delusions of grandeur. Oh, that'd be so weird. So Imagine being weird. that disconnected. Yeah, he was convinced. 
And he played um, he played like some instrument, like a horn or something. He played one of the horns, and he was like a really good, like established, like you know, fucking jazz guy. Like he was really good at it. Yeah. And he thought that Kendrick Lamar was speaking to him and was like, "You need to play horns with me." And that's what the album was about. So weird. Crazy. Just like, you know, you lose it. It's so weird to think about, like, he's explaining it to you, and to you, you're hearing gibberish. What is he hearing? Dude, I told him, I, got, I was like, dude, like, that's not what's happening. Like, I was totally bashing it down, and he's like, bro, you're being a hater. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what are you awesome. talking about? That's and he goes, awesome. He goes, your negativity, I don't need it right That's now. That's so funny. Like, <laughs> Dude, I'm worried about you. This doesn't make any sense. The album's not about you. And he goes, yeah. fucking crabs in a bucket. <laughs> Dude literally hit me with crabs in a bucket. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, yo, what? That's the funniest response. And he was so <laughs> good. He was so confident that uh, it did gaslight me a little bit. Yeah. And I go, am I being like mean to him? Is he having a bottom? Is he like? following his dreams and I'm like being up I'm like no, no what the fuck yeah what the fuck he almost talked me into being like is that guy fully nuts still I don't know I don't keep yeah. in contact with him I don't know I know he was he was treated shortly after that okay so uh, that was a good sign yeah you know like he, he started signs, uh, everything makes sense. he went to the hospital for something nice. so yeah cool. and then I I think he stopped going to college okay so I think he was getting some tweetment nice. it was towards the end of my college thing so it was and I stopped hanging out with that group of friends. Yeah. After I started comedy, I used to have all these, like, drug friends, and I don't really keep in contact with any of them. Yeah. We are kind of just, like, drug friends, and then I kind of lost interest in, like, doing drugs. Like, I still smoked a bunch of pot, and I like drugs. You know, I still like drugs. Don't get me wrong. I love drugs. I'm not a fucking nerd. <laughs> I love doing drugs. I'm getting fucked up. Wrong. Having fun. Partying. Partying. But I was like, this is stupid that this is all we do. We don't even do anything with it. Yeah, we're just sitting in the dorm it's just room, the yeah the apartment. It's just the presence of drugs is what is entertaining us right now. Not like it's not like we're even we went to concerts we're not going and shit on like a that. Hike. Yeah, we're not going on a hike. We're not fucking you know riding going to the a, beach. It's not like we're doing blow all night riding you know taxi driver or something yeah. you know something cool. Well, like we're literally just sitting in a fucking dorm room just yeah. snorting. It's really my buddy not that used to, my, my buddy used to be addicted to rocks. He's like perk thirties, mm -hmm. and I was asking about like what was his life like, and he was like, weirdly, we played a lot of Call of Duty. Yeah, yeah. We like, played we, a ton of Super Smash Bros. Yeah, Melee, he's like, dude. Just, like, he's like, you just like blow an oxy and then yeah. you just play Call of Duty. And dude, like your yeah. friend would kind of nod out and then you would come back in and then he would hop on the sticks. Yeah, and, yeah. And then you would it's, go you just do nothing. And smoke a cigarette. Yeah. That's a, like a like a real danger of drugs too that I don't think is necessarily like – people are like, oh, you'll die and you'll – you know, which is true. <laughs> like you'll take fentanyl and you'll die and but all that kind of shit. just sitting around doing jack shit. Sitting around doing jack shit is like more painful – not painful. It's like worse to people's lives than like a lot of – for you know, sure. Health issues that, like, certain drugs might cause. It's like, you don't do anything. You take Xanax and smoke pot all day. You don't do anything. Yeah, dude. If you think, I, I've thought about times I'm, like, have gotten high, like, smoked weed or, like, done blow. And it's, you think about, like, those times yeah. where you're, like, at a buddy's house doing something like that. And you're yeah. Like, I guess we just talked about kind of garbage. Nothing. And then, like, watch YouTube videos. Yeah. It's, it's like a waste of time if you do it too much. Yeah. Do that once every fucking month, maybe once a month. Yeah. You should you should do a, you should do a lot of blow once a month <laughs> and watch YouTube videos. You yeah. should do that. I would a doctor prescribe it. Should prescribe that yes. cuz it's fun and nice. Once a month. Once a month. Yeah. But twice a week? Yeah. We're yeah, pushing yeah. it. For sure. 8 times a month? Can't do that. Yeah. Can't do that. You can't like fuck up your life. That's no. like the line. I think that's kind of how my dad always was. He's like he caught me with pot in high school, and he's like, you're not – come on, dude. He yeah, was like kind of like, come on, dude. Like that was the worst of the punishment. I'm trying to be on the vibe of like drink frequently but just get a little buzz sometimes. Yeah. Have a, a whiskey I like or a yeah. scotch I like or a beer I like or a wine I like. A couple glasses, whatever. But then just chill, go home, have a nice day the next day. Dude, I had a great night last night. like burning like a day after. Yeah. I had fucking – I had a – I had a fun time. My friend Josh and Matt, shout out Josh and Matt, gave me a spot on their show at the Creek, 8 o'clock Wednesdays. Fuck it, I'll plug their show. Fuck nice. it. We'll do it live. <laughs> so I, Fuck it, we'll do it live. Do it live. Yeah. The fucking thing sucks. <laughs> <laughs> fun little set. Fucking three beers. Played some poker. Won 83 bucks. Nice. Dude, I've been smashing these other comics with poker. Yeah. Smashing them. And I feel bad. You know Josh and Matt's roommate is like a legit poker player? Who? I don't. 
Hamik? Yeah, I don't know if he I wants was, people to know. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to say his name. Okay, okay. I, I don't know. Enough Tell about me later. Joker, but he's legit. Okay. He's nice. a Navy SEAL. Oh, okay. I know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, legit. dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. 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 No, I'd love to. Can yeah, dude. I'd love to learn more. Great. Because, like, yeah, no, I've. I'm up like three hundred plus dollars in the four. You kind of nasty at poker. I'm better than these guys yeah. at poker. Well, and I'm like, you're gonna stop inviting me. Like, I've won like eighty, eighty, a hundred. It's like that's what, what Josh said. I was like, does he ever play with those guys like the college? He's like, he'd he smoke like, them. He says sometimes he goes just to have fun and get win like three hundred bucks and go home. He yeah, said he just pieces them up. It's only like forty bucks, so I don't really feel that bad. Yeah, you know what I mean. But I'm not like crazy better. I just have played a lot of poker in my life. Yeah. And I feel like they're kind of newer. Captain's horrible. <laughs> Captain's a retard. To the point it makes me mad. <laughs> Captain and Joe Jacks are both so Gen Z-ish. I'm like, guys, <laughs> holy shit. They're just babies. They yes. just do baby stuff, and I feel the age gap, and I go, you fucking dumbass. He was playing poker last night. He had two pair. There was four to a flush. Yeah. He went. He fucking like nearly goes all in. He bet like 30 of his $40. Yeah. And I go, what the fuck are you doing? No, we're getting old enough where like, because in comedy, like people will start really young, and they'll end up being your friends. You have friends that are way older and way younger. Yeah. And like the younger ones now, I'm like, is that a serious question? <laughs> Is that a serious question? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I, I and I realized I'm like, ah, I was 20. Did you just ask me one... where you should go to get an oil change? <laughs> that, what the fuck? Go to Valvoline. Go. How much do oil change cost? Seriously? Yeah. Is this a real question? Yes. Yeah, that happens all the time. Yeah, it's like dumbass shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, dude, it's like dumbass shit. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, but we're you know we're old and jaded. Yeah, no, we're old sure. men. We're ancient. Remember Joe Jacks didn't understand. I remember he didn't understand why someone would like New York City more than another city. Like, I get, like, not liking it yourself. He was incredulous he to the fact? He wasn't incredulous. He didn't understand. Yeah. He was like, what's the difference between Austin and New York? And oh, I was like, yeah, we had this conversation. Yeah, I was like. Yeah. But I I saw where he was coming from. I think I was kind of like, dude, my life isn't, it hasn't. It's only changed for minor reasons and for better. Yeah. yeah. I'm doing more comedy and spending less money. Those are but the key changes in my life. But you understand why a hypothetical person what their reasons would be to of course. that life. If you made $120,000 a year and you had like a sick place in like fucking Williamsburg and you were like hot and young, it'd be the best. Yeah. It'd be awesome. Why exactly. the fuck would you ever want to live in Poughkeepsie? You'd kill yourself. Yeah, exactly. Why would you live in Cincinnati? You'd blow your brains out. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. No, totally. If you're like a young, hot, rich girl, why the fuck would you want to live anywhere else? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Or a guy. Or a guy. Or a girl. Pussy's growing on trees over there, dude. Yeah, it's uh, cool, you know, coming out the walls. It was so funny, dude. But you what? what? <laughs> just our first moments of being here, and you're like, it's just a city of just like mid white women. Yeah. And I was like, they're beautiful. Angels. Yeah, they're beautiful. Angels. I would love to. Be <laughs> <sick."> <laughs> <laughs> I w- I'd clean up out like, of here. Why does every chick here look like they work at the fucking Gap? Yeah. Like, oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> I go look at the Sketchers on that one. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting Auntie Anne's at the outlet mall. Dude, do you vibes. remember? Uh, do you remember Meadow? I'm, I hope she was fucking eighteen. Jesus Christ. But do you remember Meadow's like kind of Jewy friend? Oh yeah. Do you think she's hot? I. I uh, no. I mean, she's an angel. Yeah, she's a beautiful princess. I like Meadow. Everyone likes Meadow. Okay, yeah, you're gay if you don't like Meadow. Answer. Yeah. Everyone loves Meadow, but Meadow's like kind of Jewy friend. I, we were watching Sopranos the other day. I also have such like a fucking like dog brain for Sopranos being on. I was like not paying attention. They had subtitles. They were playing music. They had subtitles in the Sopranos going on at the poker game. I was like fully like locked in to Sopranos. It's the episode where they uh, the the uh, Hasids ask him to shake down the. Kid, the husband who's getting a divorce, yeah, 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 and he refuses. Yeah, so good, dude. Awesome. I was just watching that. It was a fucking phenomenal. Yeah, I've had a, uh, I had like a year where I just had Sopranos on as like elevator music. It's so good, dude. My heart sank. I got like legitimately emotional when uh, Tony's trying to open up to Uncle Jackie who's dying. Yeah, or was it Jackie? Was yeah. it? Jackie Senior, Jackie April, who's dying. Yeah, and he's like trying Season to. Season one. Yes, he's trying to open up to him about. This thing he did with the Jewish guy, and he's telling him this funny story, and the guy can't. He's just obsessed with his fucking like meds, and like can't even listen, and he's just thinking about how he's dying. Yeah. And then Tony just realizes like, oh, my friend's dead, and like you see it on Gan- Gandolfini's face, it just sinks. And I'm like watching this, like God fucking damn. I get like that about the scene where Phil is in the hospital because he got a heart attack. Phil. Phil Leotardo. Before okay. Oh, they okay. have the beef. Yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah. Tony comes to visit him. Yeah. And he was like, nobody ever goes to their deathbed wishing they did more no-show jobs. <laughs> and he's like, you focus on grandkids, your family, the good things in life. Yeah. Like, we could have it all, Phil. 
That, that oh, scene's amazing. It's brutal. Yeah, that one when he visits, the very end when he visits uh, Junior. Yeah. This thing of us. You remember? You and my father ran in North Jersey. Oh, oh dude. Great scene. They're getting nostalgic as he's dying. It's the best yeah. scene. It's the the hospital show. scenes are so sad. The, oh. I didn't go to heaven, Dave. <laughs> yeah. That show's I went to so the good. other place. In my mind, it's like. It's, so good. It's, it's it's There's a gap. Yeah. Between that and whatever my second favorite show <laughs> Dude, is. Yeah, I got like a big laugh too where it's uh it's Chris and his girl, uh why am I blanking on her name? Adriana. Adriana. They're at like a like a black like restaurant or whatever, but she's like, How would you like to own a restaurant like this? Or something like that and Chris goes, Wow, with the careers. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, oh, with the careers. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Dude, he's one of the funniest characters ever. Chris. Oh, he's amazing. Maltesanti's hilarious. Yeah. I mean, Paulie Wanowitz is like a laugh. He's just a laugh machine. Oh, yeah. I so love funny. At the funeral. He goes, Can you believe Lou Gehrig died at Lou Gehrig? <laughs> and laughing. And Tony goes, How many times are you going to say that fucking joke? <laughs> You get a Taylor Garrick's disease. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love when he repeats stuff. Yeah. Dude, he's the best. Yeah, dude. Impress in peace. Oh, I know. He died recently. I got to get that painting oh, who, from that guy. That's Tony Sirica. Yeah. No, no, no. Polly no. Walnuts. No, Tony, Polly Walnuts died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy who played him was named Tony Sirica. I thought we were talking about Christopher. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, he's still alive. Yeah. No, no, no. I was talking Imperial about Polly Walnuts. Alive. Yeah, Imperial. He's so. like a woo woo guy. Big time. He's a cool guy. Yeah. He's, like, in a band. He, like, loves, like, the Velvet Underground and shit. Mm -hmm. He's cool as hell. He's, like, a New York musician guy. Yeah. He's cool yeah. as shit. Yeah. The West Village, like, jazz clubby guy. Yeah. He's pretty sick. Interesting. An older guy like that, I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. I would have loved to have been this guy 30 years ago. Yeah. It would have been cool as shit. And it's still cool to be that guy. But it's not cool Being to be an the older, new guy. Yeah. If you're an older, successful guy like that in New York, it's pretty sick. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I like meeting those guys at, like, 55. If there's a guy all right, just lean a little too hard into it, I'm like, all right. Probably pretty annoying. Okay, man. Okay, cool. Dude. I get it. Yeah, yeah. You, you, read, you read a couple books. No one gives a shit. Oh, did I tell you I went to this bar? Uh, I'll tell you what it is after. Okay. It was a great bar. Mm -hmm. And it was, like, cool and kind of, like, old and hipstery and mm -hmm. very, like, black and red and, like, 70s. And I'm mm -hmm. like, this place rules. It's divey. It's cheap. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's owned by guys from Buffalo. And I'm like, I go, oh, do you guys play the Bills games here? And the guy goes, uh, no, nah, man, we don't play sports here. Ugh. And then the girl at the bar was like, yeah, this is an industry bar. Like, people who, like, uh, work in the come here. Yeah, you're not going to find the football game here. And he's like, we're kind of trying to get away from that whole thing when we when you come down here. And I was just like, I was like, I'm, I'm going to come back in with a gun. Yeah. I mean, this is uh, what it, it was so <laughs> enraging. I was like, you told me that a guy from Buffalo owns it. I'm asking, do they play the Bills game? I'm so I'm not an idiot for asking, do you play the Bills game? Their team's games on Sundays. He, they, they, he hits you with the. We don't even have a TV. Yeah, dude. And it kind we of don't even own a TV. It like pissed. Yes, it pissed me off because I was like, this is a cool bar, but you're hitting me with such over the top keep gay Austin energy, weird energy. Like it was that. Like, have you met? Those people that are still stragglers. Like old Austinites? Ugh. I've heard tell of a few people. They're exhausted. And they're horrible. They're exhausted. Yeah. I'm like, guys. Certain things I've heard, this guy said this thing. I'm like, ugh. Yeah. Like, it's, just, it's just cringy as hell. Oh, they're so, it's so like 2009. Yeah, it blows. Oh, it's brutal. It's, it's the worst. It's like, they're like 45 and kind of chubby now. They have like gray hairs in their beard. Yeah. And they're like, they're like the, yeah, like OG Redditors. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm like, ugh. Yeah, they were on Reddit in 2014. Yeah, crap beer, guys. Crap beer, dude. Yeah. Crap beer fat. Yeah. I, for fucking sure. IPA, fucking black leather glove, or black leather apron, uh, fucking black gloves, making brisket, being yeah. 200, 260 pounds, haven't seen a gym in their entire fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> They're yeah, like, it's... yeah, it's fusion. Yeah. <laughs> we put the brisket in the quesadilla. <laughs> We dip it in a mayonnaise-based crema. I'm also like, I guess I'm like, I did come into your clubhouse. Yeah, yeah, And this yeah, is yeah. like one of the last places you guys have to be like this. Yeah, it's a safe haven for being annoying. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just an absolute blowout, though. I mean, a 40-zip just thrashing. Yeah, I mean, victory for the, the times bros. they are changing. Yeah. Yeah. The bros just absolutely bodied them. Yeah, economic forces knockout. absolutely devastated them. Yeah, is, I'm like, you. it couldn't have been kept weird. I hate – I mean, this happened in Williamsburg, and I've seen it here too, but 
uh, I saw this like big poster in East Austin that said, what do you miss about East Austin or something like that? And someone wrote the brown people. Ugh. I was like, get <laughs> over yourself. There's a decent amount of brown people. In also, it's like, I can't imagine the white person writing this. I liked looking at brown people <laughs> over here. You liked that? That was a hobby of yours? Yes. What are your interests? Then go, they're still around. I was like, we're in Texas. Go to that neighborhood. There's Mexicans everywhere. Yeah, you'll see them. Yeah. The brown people. It's like, what do you, yeah. I'm, yeah, yeah. They got priced out by fucking tech. Like, what do you, what? Well, okay. Go go somewhere else. Yeah. You can go there. You can find these people. It's also like, there's also a shitload of white people who probably got priced out by tech. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you know what I missed? The white trash. Yeah. <laughs> Just about a specific neighborhood in Austin that was, used to be fucking awful. Yeah. Used to be meth and the just white, rednecks. just tweakers and freaks, <laughs> yeah. white tweaker freaks, and you're like, yeah. I miss the tweaker freaks. Trailer parks. Mm. Mm. I miss trailer parks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all <laughs> you want to wrap things up? Yeah. Let's I'm wrap so up. hungry, dude. Yeah. Can you tell? No. I'm so hungry. I couldn't tell. You're not as grumpy. I'm as getting usually. woozy. Yeah. All right. We'll I'm get, such we'll a get girl. You some food, dude. I only had a bowl of cereal we'll and some get you yogurt some food, today. Dude. <laughs> all right, boys. <laughs> we'll Thank you snacks. for joining us. Thanks for joining us, guys. We love you, boys. Leave a. Leave a little rating on wherever you listen to podcasts. Yeah, if you listen comment. To the audio. Drop a little comment on the YouTube and a like for the algo. A little algo comment. A little algo like. A little algo can comment. Can a brother get an algo comment? And share please. it with your friends if you think they're into this kind of thing, you know? Yeah, dude. Stay Love blessed. You, boys. Shout out to the weaklings. Stay prayed up. Yeah, stay black. This is my fight song.